incredible staff members here on campus who help our students grow and learn by guiding and instructing them. One of those professors is Dr. Ortega, who had just recently retired. He was a former history professor, counselor, and Puente program leader here on campus. We had the pleasure of sitting down and learning more about him and his work, and here's what we learned. Hello, I'm Kathleen Lawhead. Would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? Sure, sure. My name is Reyes Ortega. Um, recently retired from Sierra College. Lovely. Dr. Ortega, would you, uh, when you first started your journey at Sierra College, did you ever imagine the big impact you'd have on students? Um, yes and no. I, I knew when I first started college, I wanted to find myself in some kind of a role where I would have some kind of a positive impact mm -hmm. in terms of uh, creating positive social change how that would actually feel though and look like. Of course, I wouldn't know that until I got there. Mm -hmm. But in retrospect, yes, I knew I wanted to find myself in some kind of a role to have that kind of an impact. Um, the reality is though, once you are there and you start getting to meet students one-on-one -on -one over a period of time, um, in, in, in terms of how that affected me emotionally and personally and professionally for that matter, no, no clue, no clue. Really? So, yeah. How has the Puente program evolved over the years? Evolved here at Sierra? Yes. Uh, well, we're celebrating our 10th year anniversary right now. Um, it, I, 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 what I hear is that it has evolved uh, very positively here at Sierra. Mm -hmm. I think it's becoming increasingly institutionalized now where there's an expectation, not just at our campus, but in the community at large off campus, where uh, prospective students um, are waiting to graduate from high school or waiting to finish whatever uh, they are, are trying to finish at home so that they can start Sierra College and hopefully in the Sierra program. Um, but I think it's becoming more and more institutionalized, more of my colleagues, faculty and staff and managers. Um, I've been told speak very highly, not only about the program itself, but about the students that participate in the program mm -hmm. and the students that have graduated from the program and now find themselves in other classrooms and other programs here on campus as well. And I also hear too in a larger community from folks that have hired puentistas mm -hmm. um, and, and universities that have transferred uh, puentistas of how impressed they are by the, uh, I think, the character and the quality of work and dedication that our students have. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Are there any memories you'd like to share before your time at Sierra College? Before my time at yes. Sierra? <laughs> um, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you're talking about students, so maybe I'll just reflect on, on maybe a memory or two as yeah. a student myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, one, of the, one of the most impactful kind of memories I have is I think the, the, the opportunity I have to network with students, mm -hmm. my colleagues, my classmates, if you will, at the university level, mm -hmm. uh, there were no programs like Puente um, at that time. And so we did a very informal kind of a connectivity, if you will, amongst ourselves to yeah. help ourselves not only stay motivated to remain in college, because for all of us, college was a new experience, mm -hmm. having been first time, first generation college students. And uh, many of us, are, even our parents, didn't even graduate from high school. Yeah. And so there was a tremendous amount of pressure on us, not only to succeed in college, but we were carrying the responsibility of our families back home mm -hmm. because they were looking at us because we represented them back home. Yes. Um, so to have that network of um, classmates, if you will, as a student uh, at the college level uh, was very impactful. Uh, that was our very, very informal point, I guess, if you will. <laughs> But uh, many, if not all of those individuals became lifelong friends after graduation. This was way before social media. Yeah. And so we didn't have the advantage of social media, if you will, to stay in con uh, connected with each other after mm -hmm. graduation. Um, but we have remained with each other. We are still in touch with each other. And I think uh, because there was no social media back then, that says a lot about the strength of uh, cohort groups, if you will. It, mm -hmm. says, it, it says a lot about the strength of students connecting with each other and giving each other that kind that of support, bond. that bond. And also that cultural connectivity too, as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After all of that, why Sierra College? Yeah. Um, well, let's see. I think I had finished my first master's degree at the time. I was at San Jose State in the Bay Area. <laughs> um, recently married, started a, a family, and uh, my wife and I knew we wanted to raise a family outside of the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And so during those years in the Bay Area, we were sort of looking outside to see what sort of um, campuses uh, were primarily in Northern California and if any openings, any opportunities came about, we would compete for those positions. Mm -hmm. um, so Sierra College in Rockland was one of those areas. We also knew that this area was growing geographically. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that many people from Southern Cal and also from the Bay Area were moving there, mm -hmm. or moving here, I should say. Um, and so we wanted to be part of that growth. Uh, we knew with growth comes opportunities, and we wanted to be part of that change as well. Um, so we, we were ready. I had spent about 40 years in the Bay Area, born and raised in the Bay Area. Yeah. And I was ready to move and start a family out here. And Sierra College has been great for us in, in many, many ways. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, what were some of your favorite moments being a mentor, guide, teacher, and ally at Sierra College? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, well, that can go on forever. I, I can speak <laughs> volumes about that. Um, I think for me, the, the, the greatest benefit, I guess, the of finding myself in that kind of a role or those roles is um, uh, knowing a student and, and because of my counseling background what sort of obstacles they may have had at home or personally or academically and to see them complete um, a class was, was a huge reward not only for the student for me as well just yeah. to see I think the strength that the, and the confidence that that student um, built when they completed three units yeah. or even one unit for that matter and then you build upon that semester after semester when you eventually someone get their certificate of completion or to get their associate degree and wear the cap and gown and go to the commencement ceremony. Yeah. Uh, for me, sitting in the stands uh, with my faculty colleagues uh, to see students that I've worked with over the years go up to get their degree and have their name called over the PA system, uh, for me is just personally uh, and professionally rewarding. Um, especially in recent years if, with the Puente program, when you see the students wear their Puente stole yeah. over their cap and gown as well. I, I don't think there's anything more I could ever ask for in life when I, uh, other than that. That's great. Is there anything you'd like to remind your students of? Um, <laughs> do your homework. Yes, <laughs> do your homework. You know, life is going to happen. There may be times when we may not pass a class or we don't get the kind yeah. of grade that we're going for, but, you know, don't let that stop you. Just keep going at it, keep going at it. Um, if you Perseverance. Persevere. Um, um, like myself, I didn't quite know what was going to be at the end of that academic road. I knew because I had been told that life would be better, there would be a different kind of quality of life waiting for me yeah. after that. Uh, but in the meantime, I just have to stick to my studies and just keep plugging away uh, day after day, week after week, month, semester after semester. Um, and so my message to the students is just keep doing that. Just keep doing your homework. Uh, you're going to be facing obstacles. Just go through those obstacles. Pick yourself back up if you find uh, yourself faltering at any point in time. Reach out and ask for help, you know, from your professors, from your counselors, etc. We are all here for you to help you be successful. Uh, so don't be shy. Always ask us. And I guarantee that there will be an amazing quality of life waiting for you. And once you get to that point where you're entering your career, never forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. And always get back to that next generation behind you that is also experiencing those sorts of maybe obstacles that we did when we first started college as well. So always get back to your community. Great. And then, Dr. Ortega, is there anything else you would like to add that we may not have covered? Or? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, maybe just a reminder that um, uh, at Sierra College, and I think in higher education in general, um, people find themselves here for a reason. You know, we want to um, uh, be able to teach uh, what we teach in our areas of expertise. Uh, we want to be able to counsel, if you will. We want to be able to meet with students and work with students and help students. Um, so we are all here for students. That is who we are. Um, I don't, and I don't think my colleagues see this as a job. We see this more as a responsibility. So we are responsible for the success of our students, and that, that uh, is very genuine when I say that. Mm -hmm. And when I see work um, like what uh, Dr. Bernie here is doing and others as well, uh, that reminds me and that reassures me that Sierra College is a place to be to help you get to where you want to go. So. Yes. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing your journey. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. My name is Richard Alamo. I'm a former student here at Sierra College. I graduated in 1996. Currently, I'm an engineer with the Sacramento Fire Department. Oh, awesome. Uh, what did Dr. Ortega mean to you during your stay at Sierra? Well, Dr. Ortega saved my life. Um, in 1996, I found myself homeless. Um, I lived in Southern California, and um, I, I had a goal of becoming a firefighter. I just didn't know how to get there or navigate uh, the college system. 
um, I found Sierra College and I literally was just going to get in my car and drive out here because they had dorms here. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how, um, but I got in touch with Dr. Ortega at the time. I don't know what, how we got in touch with each other, but I called him. He was the dean of EOPS at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, stay put. There's a process you need to go through. I'm going to help you. I'm going to figure out how we're going to get you to school. And uh, I literally, I was homeless. I had nowhere to go. And so uh, Reyes opened the doors for me to come up here. And I graduated with honors from Sierra College. And now I'm a, I've been with the Sacramento Fire Department for 21 years. Wow. Uh, what would you like to say to Dr. Ortega? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, thank you. I, I hope that through my actions, through what I did with my life, um, that your efforts didn't go in vain. Um, you brought me out of here from a really bad situation. Um, you were a father to me at times when I needed a father. You were a friend when I needed a friend. Um, you were a mentor when I needed a mentor. Um, and you always had my back. Um, had it not been for you and your family, I would not be where I'm at today. So from the bottom of my heart, Dr. Ortegas, thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tiffany Lopez. I am a current student here at Sierra College. And what did Dr. Ortega mean to you during your stay at Sierra College? Dr. Ortega, to me, has meant a lot. He really has been the one who pushed me and made me find my path to be to go to med school. I haven't not there yet, but I will be one day. Um, first of all, I would love to say thank you to Dr. Ortega because without him, honestly, I would not be where I am today. In the beginning, I felt so lost, and I probably was going to about to quit school. And I met him, thankfully, through my boyfriend. And then after that, he really has led me to new opportunities, such as going to Prep Medico, a medical program at UC Davis Medical School. So this is where I got my little card here. And um, through that, I met a lot of doctors who I currently do shadow and do it, um, internships with them. And I am currently have one more year left, and thankfully I'll go to med school one day. That's great, Tiffany. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Thank you, Dr. Ortega, for inspiring me and letting me know that there are hopes for a lot of people like me who are first-generation college students of Latino background who come from an underserved community. And honestly, it has been very hard, but you've pushed me through it. I just want to say thank you, and I hope one day I could be like that to future students.